Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. All right, you guys, well, I have a really fun video in store for you. I've been really excited to film this for a long time and I'm finally doing it. So before I hop into the video, I actually have some really fun happy mail that I want to open with you guys. And I'm particularly excited about this because this is a collab that I'm doing with a company that I've done many times, but this time it's for a good cause. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys today. So if you haven't guessed already, I'm collabing again with Julia Jewelry. And as you guys know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so Julia Jewelry has partnered with the National Breast Cancer Foundation. They launched a beautiful collection of jewelry, which I chose a piece from that collection and I'm really excited to show you guys. But it's basically to spread awareness about breast cancer and just to provide the support that women need. So what they're doing is they're donating $2 per unit sale of each product in this collection and they're donating it to the National Breast Cancer Foundation and it's to provide mammograms and breast health services to women in need, which in turn helps make a difference for those facing breast cancer and saving lives through early detection. So if you've not done a self-exam in a while, it's definitely a good time to do that. There are plenty of resources online that explain how to do a self breast exam at home. And I highly recommend you look into those, especially if it's been a while. And that's coming from someone who has had a scare in the past. I am 33 years old and I've already had a mammogram just to check out some lumps that I found after having my fourth child. So it ended up not being anything concerning but always good if you are at all worried about anything to definitely just go in and get it checked. So let's go ahead and open this up. I've had this for a few days and I've just been so excited. So I actually don't know what's in here because I gave my rep, Mary, hey, shout out to Mary, I just love her. Um, I gave her two different choices and I said, I wanna be surprised. So send me one of these two because they're both beautiful and I can't decide. So I actually don't know which one she chose for me, but um, so in any order, they are going to send you some care instructions and just some like general information. So important about the jewelry tag, each piece of jewelry comes with the tag. Once you remove that tag, you're not able to return or exchange the jewelry. So just make sure that you're certain you wanna keep it before you remove that tag. Um, they also send this beautiful booklet that just kind of features some of their jewelry pieces and they do have personalized jewelry that you can order as well. So here's an example of that. But yeah, just beautiful, beautiful jewelry. I have so many pieces from them that I absolutely love. They also send this gift bag, which I think is such a good idea in case you're wanting to give the jewelry away as a gift. Oh my gosh, so normally I know or have an idea of what I'm getting and this time I, I don't. So I'm just... So excited. And I don't even, I don't remember which size I got either. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is a piece of jewelry. It's a ring from, again, that the Divine Love Collection, which is the collection that they are partnering with the National Breast Cancer Foundation with. Oh my gosh, there's two. Oh, you guys. Okay, so I really loved this one because it's kind of vintage looking. So that's this was one of the options that I had given her because I really love like the vintage look. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, and there's, look at on the side. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so there's another one too. So this must, oh, this is a stackable ring. I think I maybe didn't, didn't even realize that. That is so cool. Okay, so this is the second one very like beautiful and dainty and I love it because this is it's like gold but it's almost it's almost like rose gold I'm trying you guys I'm sorry about my band-aid I sliced my finger on my my paper cutter making cash envelopes and it's fine but I figured you didn't want to see the cut so I'm covering it up with a band-aid so I'm sorry it's kind of not very aesthetically pleasing but um oh my gosh so I'm obsessed with this what size did I get okay I got an eight that's perfect so I'm actually gonna take this ring off. And I'm obviously keeping this, so I'm gonna take the tag off here too. Oh my God. 
This is seriously so pretty. Oh my gosh. I literally love that so much. Like so much. I love it. So you guys, I will leave all the information linked in my description for this ring specifically. And then also for the website for Julia Jewelry so that you guys can go check out this collection if you are in the market or want to support the Breast Cancer Foundation. I'll also have a code for 15% off in the description as well. So definitely go check that out. And thank you, Julia Jewelry, for asking me to partner with you again. I absolutely love your company and I love working with you. So Let's jump in to today's video, which is kind of a different type of video, but I changed the categories in some of my sinking funds and decided to make some new envelopes because as you guys know, I'm changing the cursive font as the signature font for the aesthetic dollar. And so I wanted to make sure that my envelopes represented that. And then I also, since I was changing categories, decided to slightly adjust my classic font. It's the same font. It just looks a little bit different and you'll see that in a minute. The reason that I decided to do it now instead of waiting is because I'm actually doing a giveaway to celebrate 20K and just to say thank you to you guys for tuning into my videos and just making this community what it is because without you, it wouldn't exist. Like it is all of us together. So I decided that I wanna give away my old cash envelopes as part of the giveaway. So go watch my cash stuffing video from this past Sunday. I think it was October 1st, but go watch that video because I explain how to get into the drawing. And then I also explain what I'm giving away. There are going to be four giveaway winners from that video, but I'm also going to be adding two more giveaway winners to get my cash envelopes, my old cash envelopes. So we're gonna be switching them out of my binders and I'm just gonna kind of be explaining my categories in this video because a lot of people ask about the categories and I haven't done a video like this since January. So I thought it would be a really good time to do that. And I was gonna wait till the new year to change up my envelopes and then I'm like, you know what? No, I have so many fun things in store for January because our plan is to be debt free by then. So then I'll be starting a bunch of savings challenges while also cash stuffing my sinking funds. And it's just going to be a whole lot going on and a whole lot to get used to because we are so used to going hard on debt and we're going to be able to now go hard on savings challenges. So I want to be able to focus on that and have my sinking funds all set in place. So I thought for this video, I would hole punch my envelopes. I have not done that yet. And so a lot of you guys say in the comments of my vlogs, and in like my live videos on Instagram that it's really satisfying to watch envelopes get punched. So I thought for this video, it would be fun to just do that and play some soft music and just take a couple minutes to get these envelopes hole punched. And then we will switch them out in my sinking funds binders. So I'm gonna get started with hole punching my envelopes and you guys can just sit back and relax for a little bit. Thank you. 
Okay, so these are my new envelopes and I'm keeping all of the same binders and my wallet and all of that. So all of that is going to all stay the same. I've just rearranged some of my categories into high priority and low priority. And then, so all of my binders are gonna look a little bit different as far as the categories go. And I did just make envelopes for my wallet, but I remade them. So I have the aesthetic dollar on the bottom of all my envelopes because I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say that I need to start putting like a watermark or something on my videos because people apparently steal videos. I don't even know how that's possible, but they steal videos and photos and stuff. So I just wanted to put the aesthetic dollar like on my personal envelopes so that it cuts out one extra step when I'm editing photos or videos. So that's why I have that on there. Um, but let's go ahead and just start with my wallet. So I'm going to set the rest of these aside and we'll kind of do these all in the same order that we would cash stuff them just to kind of keep things the way they usually are in my videos. So let's start with the wallet. I'm going to get these in the right order here. So these envelopes are the exact same. I just have the aesthetic dollar on mine. And so I will be adding my wallet envelopes into my giveaway as well. So keep in mind these envelopes, I've been using them for almost an entire year. So they are a little beat up, but I mean, they're fully functional. Some of them are imperfect to begin with because that's just what I do. If I have an imperfect envelope, I'll just use that for myself versus making a whole new one if it's a category I wanna use. So I have a couple extra envelopes in my wallet because we did some shopping. So I'll put those back in the sinking funds binders. But let's just start by putting these in here like this. I never know the best way to go about doing this, but we're just gonna like kind of wing it, I guess. So groceries, we have 10 in here and I'm going to actually do like my cash stuffing in my next video that I'm going to film after this one. So me just moving the cash doesn't matter and I'm probably, I'm not going to count it or anything. We're just going to move it over. So I'll talk about my categories though, as I'm putting the money in. So the groceries envelope, I get a lot of questions on. This is just for little things we need to run out and grab. It's not necessarily our entire grocery budget. We budget around $1,200 a month for our family of six. And this is just if we run out of milk and either me or my husband needs to run out and grab a gallon of milk from the gas station. Um, this is my personal spending envelope. Eating out is empty. It's always empty. I love eating out, you guys. I love grabbing food out so I don't have to cook at home. Um, drinks is empty. Kids is empty. Nails is also... I didn't even stuff this one last week. Kindness is empty. I left a... $5 tip when I went to Starbucks and got a drink yesterday. So that one's gone. The miscellaneous has five still. Um, kindness is in case, let's see. So I'll go, I'll back up because I, I need to like, remember I'm sharing my categories here. So drinks, this is specifically for adult beverages for my husband and I, all the other beverages we would have in the house, we, we would put in our grocery budget, but drinks is more of a low priority thing. It's not something we need to survive. Kids is kind of like our yes envelope for our kids. So if we're out and about and they ask for a treat or a craft at Target or something like that, I'll pull out of this envelope to pay for that. Nails is for when I get my fills. Kindness, just any random act of kindness I feel like doing, so leaving a bigger tip somewhere. So it's partly cloudy out today, you guys. So the lighting keeps changing because the sun is going like behind the clouds and then coming back out. So I don't know, maybe it's relaxing, but right now the sun is shining. Um, and then miscellaneous is just anything I forget to budget for, or if I'm like over budget in one of these categories. So that, those are my wallet envelopes that I carry with me on a daily basis. Next, let's do high priority sinking funds. And so like I said, some of these things are kind of changing. Normally, high priority are things that we would need to like keep our household running. That's how I describe it. That's still the case. However, we are almost like we're going to be done hopefully paying our debt off by the end of December. So this is changing just a little bit because there are some categories that I'm moving over from our low priority into our high priority because they're things that are important to us. And we, I usually cash stuff or budget for high priority first. 
So for example, um, when I'm writing out my zero-based budget, I'll start with our income and then I'll take out all of our bills from our budget and then I'll start with things like this. So like the necessities, things that are important because if we have a lower amount to budget, then I wanna make sure this stuff is taken care of. So high priority are things that are like the most important to us or things that you know are important to our kids. Low priority are things that are still important but we could live without. Um, and an example would be, I'm moving date night into high priority. Chris and I could survive without going on dates, but I do think it's important for us to make that more of a priority just for each other and to spend that time with each other and to just really focus on our marriage. So that's an example of something that's getting moved from low priority to high priority. So let's go ahead and get started. I think these envelopes are in order for the most part. So I'm just going to stick them in here and then we'll swap the money out as we go and I'm actually I'm gonna keep these separate so I might actually do a few drawings so like a drawing for the wallet bundle um and then one for high priority and one for for low priority my um holiday sinking funds I'm giving to a friend so she kind of had dibs on that so groceries like I said um this is a sinking fund for that so we stuff about $25 a week into this envelope and that's just to go get little things that we might need throughout the week and that envelope just kind of accumulates which is fine by me and I usually pull out of this envelope to put in my wallet or my husband will pull out of here if he's the one you know running out to grab whatever we need clothing is for clothing shoes winter gear for our entire family so households are things like cleaning supplies toilet paper paper towels, new dish rags, just kind of like things to take care of our house. I'm naming personal hygiene beauty just because I think it sounds, I don't know, I like the way it sounds. Um, and these are just things to take care of ourselves. So shampoo, like things for the shower, things for our oral hygiene, things for our hair, makeup, really anything like that. Um, Self-care. So self-care is going to be my new nails envelope. And that is actually in this binder because it used to be low priority. But I was thinking, I'm like, you know what? I'm, it, I don't do a whole lot for myself. I don't buy myself clothes. I don't get my hair colored. I do all that. Like I color my hair at home. And that would come out of our beauty envelope. So I decided to call this one self-care because sometimes I might want to get a pedicure or I might want to go get a massage. And so that's kind of what this, this envelope is going to be for. And I do think that that is, I do think that is high priority. I, I need to start prioritizing myself. I think sometimes as a mom of four, I forget, I forget that I need to do that. So, all right, next up is going to be baby needs. So I'm going to put date night somewhere else. I like kind of doing these in a specific order. And I don't have like a rhyme or reason. So this one we probably won't have for a super long time. Bristol will probably start getting potty trained in a couple of months. But this is mostly for diapers and wipes. Um, pet care. Let's see. So pet care I had in my wallet. So I actually have that one right here. Pet care is for our dogs. So dog food, vet visits, um, to get groomed, anything like that. We have two giant German Shepherd dogs. So next I'm going to do medical and, oh, so this is my tester envelope. So it was already in there. I just wanted to make sure I liked how it looked before, before I made a whole bunch and I do like how it looks. So hockey rink and hockey are both going to go in here as well. Um, what other ones do I have back here? I'm just gonna change up the order of these a little bit. So we'll do tax prep can go here. And then hockey is really important to Liam, so I put that in high priority as well. Um,
Oh, and then we need date night. Let's do date night after pet care. So date night is also going to be, it was in our low priority and I'm moving it to We'll just take that envelope out in a second. I'm moving it to our high priority because like I said, I want to really prioritize our, our marriage and our relationship. And I think it's important that, you know, having four kids, we take that time. So even if it's just like going out to eat at Chipotle, just the two of us, like just something where it's just us, we need to prioritize that more. All right. Vehicle maintenance. This is for anything that has to do with the maintenance of our vehicles. <laughs> So and this is a sinking fund. So I just keep stuffing it. I mean, I don't think there's ever too much you can have in a vehicle maintenance sinking fund. Um, seasonal lawn care used to be in low priority, mostly because we used to pay a service to come out and take care of our grass. Um, and now we don't anymore, but we are saving up for a snowblower, which is what the money in here is going to be used for. So I think that's more of a high priority thing. Okay, I had copays in, I don't know, do you call it a purse? I have like that like crossbody little fanny pack type thing that if I'm just running out somewhere, I'll just stick a couple cash envelopes in there. But when I went and got my massage with my sister this morning, I usually use money out of copays for my massages. So I'm like out of breath because I had to run out to my car. <laughs> okay, medical is already switched over. Hockey was another one that is in low priority. And this one got depleted a bit because we had to pay the kids' um, registration fees, which was about 400 and something dollars. So I had to take a placeholder out of there. Hockey rink is fully funded. Technically, I wasn't going to make an envelope for this one, but I haven't filmed my condensing video yet. And there's just like that moment where you get to put the fully funded placeholder in there. So I'm like, I have to make the envelope because we worked hard to fill that envelope and get it to fully funded. So I, I just, I need that satisfaction of putting it in there. <laughs> okay. So then tax prep this is to pay our CPA and I've not been explaining my envelope. So I'm just going to backtrack a bit. Um, explain that one, explain that one. Co-pays is co-pays medical. So we finally got this to a thousand. We're going to keep stuffing it because I like having like a decent size medical sinking fund. Um, that's just for any, like an ER visit, um, just any random medical things that could pop up. Hockey, we've got one kid in hockey and one kid starting hockey. So this is an envelope we stuff weekly just to you know, save money because hockey is expensive. Um, hockey rink, we build a hockey rink in our backyard every winter for the kids to skate on. So this is just to fund that. And then tax prep is to pay our CPA. And then miscellaneous is again, just anything that we forget to budget for. So that we have that cash laying there if we need it. Okay. So that is high priority sinking funds. My goal was to even out these I need to do a condensing really bad, but this, my goal was to even out my binders because my high priority had 10 envelopes and my low priority had like 20. So I wanted to try to like get them to be more even and just kind of rework how we're doing everything here. So I just have a lot of envelopes in general. So I switched and then I did switch some things from high priority to low priority as well. So you'll kind of see what I did there. And there's some, a couple envelopes in this binder that I'm actually getting rid of. So. All right. So eating out. I'm impressed we have money in here still. This is for if we want to order pizza. We really don't go to restaurants with the kids because we have four kids under the age of eight. So it's just not very fun <laughs> but we will like order pizza or maybe like go pick up food like once in a while the kids will be like can we have taco bell and it's like sure we haven't done that in months so why not um again this is that drinks envelope so i have the same envelope in my wallet um, for both of these and it's just because i don't want to carry this much cash in my wallet 
and my husband and I share these sinking funds. And so I want to um, stuff these so that either me or my husband can come pull cash out of here if we need to. So Emily, this is my personal spending cash. We stuff this at the beginning of every month and then just pull from it throughout the month. And like sometimes Chris will take, like he took all of his spending cash already for October, which is totally fine. Um, date night, we already moved to high priority. Kids, again, same as what's in my wallet. It's kind of like the, the yes envelope. So we cash stuff for their needs, like clothing, they need a new, you know, toothbrush or new sheets that will come out of other places. The kids envelope is just like for treats and special things. Family fun is like, you know, if we want to go to a movie as a family or, you know, go out and get ice cream. Antonio is our little through a program called Big Brothers Big Sisters and he just turned 15. We've been matched with him for eight years, but this, so we hang out like once or twice a month. Sometimes we go an entire month without hanging out, but I wish I could hang out with him every week. I just adore him. Our whole family just loves him. But um, so this is just money that I set aside for when we hang out so that I can, you know, we can go do some fun stuff. Okay, so birthday parties. I actually have this one out already because I went shopping for Rowan's birthday party. This one is gonna come out of holiday sinking funds and get put into low priority. So this is an example of just one that's getting moved around. And this is for like, more specifically the kids' birthday parties. I mean, Chris and I don't really do too much for ours. Gifts, it's for like friends who are getting married, having babies, um, birthdays for people in the family. Gifts is my love language, so sometimes I'll pull out of here just to give someone a gift because I want to. So home is a new envelope. Home is going to be for things that we need around our house. And so sometimes I'm like, you know, I get a new rug or, you know, I get one of the kids a new comforter or just like a piece of home decor. And I just like don't know which envelope to pull it out of. So home is going to be for that specifically. Organizing is specifically for organizing because... This is like my mental health envelope is what I refer to it as because when my house is organized and everything has a place, I am one happy human being. So organizing is a very important envelope to me. So like I am the crazy person that literally has this kind of stuff all over my house. Like everything's labeled in clear containers. <laughs> it's a problem. All right, renovations. So this is for home renovations. I decided to move this. So we have $500 set aside in home renovations, but I moved this to low priority. Um, it's important to us that we get the stuff around our house done, but it's not, um, it's just not a high priority. Like we're gonna get debt paid off and get some savings and then we'll, we'll crush the house projects. Memberships is currently fully funded. This is for Sam's Club membership. Amazon Prime membership, and then we use the Every Dollar Budgeting app, and so that's to pay for that annually as well. Back to School was one that was in our holiday sinking funds, and I am moving it to our low priority. It's not really a holiday. So I just decided <laughs> I'm moving it here. So then we have travel. All right, and then that's gonna be it for low priority. I feel like we switched and I can feel like low priority doesn't have as many, but that's okay. Um, so then these envelopes right here. So I'm getting rid of these three envelopes. 10th anniversary. Um, we have probably enough money in here. I'm just going to stuff what we would stuff in 10th anniversary in travel for now because we're going on our trip in a couple weeks anyway. So I'm like, it really, I don't need to keep that. I just didn't make another envelope for it. So I'll still give it away. But so this money I'm going to set aside can actually show you guys. I don't know if I have an envelope. Oh my gosh. 
So some of this money I need to put away into an envelope, but like this is where I'm keeping my $5 savings challenge money. Um, but I'm going to put this 500. Oh, I do have an envelope for it in here. I guess this isn't 500. It's more than that. So when we save money and I put a placeholder in an envelope, I have this binder where I actually set the money aside if we're going to be spending it within like a relatively short period of time. So instead of depositing this into the bank, I just put it in here and keep it in our safe. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 58, 59, 50, 1,000, 1100, 1200, $1,250. Our Airbnb is already paid for. So we already pulled out of this and paid for that. And this is kind of just to like eat out for gas because we're driving there. So just for all of that stuff. And then I'm gonna pull all of the travel money as well to bring with on the trip. So I just figured that would be easier to just do it this way than make a whole nother envelope. So, and then Sam's Club and wedding ring. So wedding ring, I'm actually gonna, I'm not stopping with wedding ring, but I'm gonna do a savings challenge for this once we get there. So I think for the wedding ring, I, I do think that I have a, so I'm going to be adding these to the shop, by the way. Um, people thought liked this idea. If we put this all in a, a, even a savings account, it'll, it'll somehow disappear. Actually, hang on. I have my, I have to keep like a separate bag of all this stuff because I have so much of it, but it will all just like disappear if it gets put into a savings account. I don't know how it happens. But it does. So I'm going to be adding these to the shop with my next launch. So it's just like different. They're kind of like the placeholders, but they, um, if you want to do a system like I do, you could um, customize them. These are really easy to make. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't take me long to make these. So I have an empty envelope in here. So I'm just going to stick what we saved up for wedding ring, which we have one, two, three, four, 10 and 15. So $415 in here for wedding ring. And we'll just kind of, when we start that savings challenge for this, we'll have that money. So we'll already kind of have a head start on that, which is perfect. And I need to figure out a good place to put these fives because I filled up a tracker for my $5 savings challenge. So I just got to find a good place to keep that. All right, so Sam's Club, we just need to figure out what to do with Sam's Club now. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it in here and when I make, when I do my cash stuffing video, I might just like reallocate this in somewhere. I think that's probably gonna be the best thing to do. All right, so then last is our holiday sinking funds. All right, so Valentine's Day. Easter. So Valentine's Day, I like to get little like, just like something small, but just like a little treat bag for the kids and like a balloon from the Dollar Tree. Easter's for like Easter baskets, Easter egg hunts. Um, anything that really has to do with Easter. I've got a four-year-old, almost five-year-old who is obsessed with crafts. So we're, almost, we're doing a craft like every other day, it feels like. Um, so most of my home decor is like her crafting <laughs> for holidays. 4th of July, we love fireworks in this house in, in our neighborhood really, so. That's to save up for fireworks. Halloween is for like, the kids wanna dress up, for candy to hand out to the neighborhood kids. We don't really decorate much for Halloween, but, um, but that's kind of what we do. We love to like, oh, I put these in here backwards. 
Thanksgiving comes before Black Friday. Thanksgiving, this is crafts. Um, maybe if I find any decor I like, or mostly what I use it for is um, to buy groceries for whatever food my mother-in-law asks me to bring. We are hosting Thanksgiving from my side of the family this year, which I'm so excited about. So I'll probably be stuffing a lot more in the Thanksgiving envelope than I originally thought because I love hosting and like going all out for things like that. So Black Friday, this is to save up in case we want to get anything on Black Friday, like we see a good deal or whatever. Christmas, mostly for Christmas gifts, stockings, etc. New Year's Eve, we're thinking about hosting actually. So last year we hosted last minute, but this year I'm like, what if we like actually hosted and we had people over and we could hang out in the back patio and people could ice skate on the rink like it would just be so fun so i might since we'll be done stuffing for our 10th anniversary trip be able to redirect some of that money into those two holidays because i really haven't been stuffing much in them because i normally don't spend much but if we're going to be hosting it would be super fun winter fall spring and summer this is just for like seasonal specific activities we do a lot in the, in the fall like apple orchards and things like that. Um, summertime, it's like to fund <laughs> bubbles and chalk and all sorts of stuff. So I'd say fall and summer are the two seasons we probably would spend the most in. So so summer has five and then Seasonal decor is like for decorations specific to seasons. So whether that's Christmas, um, I did get some fall stuff this year. It's all I really decorate for though is like fall a little bit, but then Christmas pretty hardcore. So, all right, and there you have it. So the difference between the cursive and the classic so the classic is the same. I just literally made the font bigger and it's not bold. It's like the regular version of that font. And then this is the new cursive. And I've, I've had some people in the comments say it's hard to read the cursive. It's not in person. It's not hard to read it at all in person, especially if like once you get to know your envelopes, like I like it because it's very minimal, which is kind of, <laughs> kind of my style. It's kind of what I go for. So you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and keeping me company while I switch out my envelopes. I'm really excited about the new look. I love the way they look. And I'm really excited to be adding all of these envelopes into my drawing. So I will probably just like split these up into like two groups or three groups even, and then add these into my 20K giveaway. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and watch it so that you can get entered into the giveaway. Thank you guys again for 20K, by the way. I'm still kind of in shock, but absolutely love what we have going on here. So again, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope this video blessed you in some way, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.